watch I use a base coat of base gray and then for a highlight I mix in some USB. Yeah, this German guy is pretty good. Blue and water three to four parts PVA, one to four parts water. I mean I don't think it'd be as good without all these 40k bits, you know, like say with a scratch build or something, but it's pretty good. I am not German. I am Belgian. Excuse me? I'm not German. You can you can hear me? Does Pinocchio have wooden balls? I don't need no stinking 40k bits. Oh no, I was, I was just saying, you know, I like your stuff, but could you do that with just, with like a spray bottle, for example? You know, scratch build it just with spray bottles and only spray bottles. That's, that's what I was saying, you know, that's what I was saying. Just spray bottles? Nothing else? And, and how can you hear me? My friend, at the most basic level of the universe, you, me, and everything around us is all one. Oh. I always thought this guy was on drugs. He's, he's, he's got that, that kind of vacant, you know, far out there kind of look. If I ever sound or look like I am on drugs, I am. Oh, he's on drugs. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's, let's make whatever we want using only... Um, yeah, yeah. We make whatever we want using only spray bottles. Sound good? Challenge accepted. Excuse me? Hello? Hello? A challenge? I, I didn't say challenge. I didn't want a challenge. I, I can't stand challenges. It's too stressful. You know, I'm, I'm in it for the fun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you think England and Germany have had enough conflict over the years. We wouldn't need a challenge, but... Uh, Belgian. Belgian. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I should apologize to all the German viewers out there. He's from Belgium, so... So the spray bottle challenge, well, basically we can make whatever we want to make out of stuff you can only find in spray bottles. It's, you know, it's very specific and weird, but you know, there's a lot of bits in a spray bottle as you can see in this video right here. So I want to say thanks to Gert from Dark Matter Workshop for doing this video with me. I'm interested to see what he's going to build. So once you finish watching here, go over there and watch his. But let's be honest, who am I kidding? You've obviously come from his channel to mine. So when I say only use spray bottle parts, I mean it. Like this spring I'm going to use later. And uh, even this weird little ball that is inside this tube. So I was thinking of making a like a, a, a robot with four legs, but I only had three tubes, so now it's a tripod, you know, which is probably more interesting in a way. Now I use a lot of baking powder in this build because this stuff just does not want to stick to itself. So, and check out the fingers, they get worse and worse. I should probably wear gloves, but I don't want to be ripping off uh, the craftsman too much. So any surfaces you want to stick, you may have seen it already, but sand it down. Just add a bit of extra texture there that the glue can grip on. So here's the spring I mentioned earlier. Uh, I need an armature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this spring out and make arms. It's hard work. So another shout out to the bead community out there. You know, if you don't have beads, make some. Uh, take these little plastic tubes and chop up some beads. So using this wire and bead technique, these arms should be fully articulated. So once it's all stuck on, it should still be able to flex and move a bit into any position you want. So 
So I want to make articulated hands, but hands are hard and claws are easy. So I'm going to make claws instead. Hands are hard, claws are easy. I think, I think that's going to be my first t-shirt design. Let me know what you think. So like with the arms, you thread the fingers on the uh, fingers. But it's so tricky and intricate that you forget to focus the camera. That's how tricky it is. You know, I was thinking when I edit this video that I was going to do a lot of those clicks and then something appears. If that gets too annoying, just let me know. It's probably too late now. I probably edited this part in too late of the video, but um, yeah, just let me know in the comments and I'll know for next time. Less, less of this. So I've been looking at this hat on my robot and I just think it's a bit too stylish for my geeky trash collecting bot, so off it goes. There's such thing as white lung because I feel like I have white lung. It's like the common one is black lung. I've just been in so much baking powder. <coughs> that is obviously a joke. I am wearing a mask at all times when using powders and sanding and stuff. And uh, you should too because I'm responsible and just a good boy. For this build I'm going to need some kind of plastic sheet that I can cut shapes out of like rivets or the bottoms of these buckets and uh, I'm just going to try and use the side of the bottle and see if it's any good. Now you're probably thinking, there's no way all these little weird intricate plastic shapes come out of a spray bottle. But they did. Here's a video, here's a link to me taking part of a spray bottle. And you should just try and do it yourself. There's, there's so many bits in there. I sound like I'm weirdly obsessed with spray bottles. And I am. So I'd love to see if any of you guys have tried this with a spray bottle, using only a spray bottle. If you make something, take a picture, send it to me. I'm on Instagram at, at Bill Making Stuff. So just send me a picture and I'll happily share it. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. There's the bead. So you may be wondering how big this is. Well, here's my 28 mil guy for scale. And I'm gonna need rivets. And uh, I have this tool here, a little hole punch. I'm gonna test this out and see if I can make rivets out of this cheap plastic. Worked out pretty good, they're pretty small, but uh, I'm gonna, you know, hedge my bets and make bigger ones just in case. So if you're wondering what you can use for greebles, well there's all these little weird plastic shapes that you can get in a spray bottle. You don't need those 40k bits, do you gut? And just stick them in places to make the thing look more interesting. That's how it works, isn't it? Time for some rivets.
So like always, I sprayed an undercoat of black and then Xenophil highlight from above with gray, even though it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. It just looks nicer for that split second where you don't paint over it. So I'm going for a rusty undercoat again, and I'm trying to sponge this time, so at least I'm branching out. So I just kept adding different tones of orange to make rust. And it gives you quite a nice rusty coat, but I'm gonna paint over it anyway. Silver. Now, I'm not the best painter in the world. Yep, I added this blue on and I felt exactly the same way that you are right now. Uh, a bit panicky. And the green too. I don't know what I was doing. But I knew at the end it was going to look like a junky bot mess. So it doesn't really matter. Just, just bear with me. I'm sure Gert on his video is making a comment about my painting. Uh, and he's completely right. So acrylic paint pens. I love using acrylic paint pens for details. Uh, I've got a video about it just up here. So like always, I like to try and think of a story behind the thing I'm making. So this, this robot is incredibly old, you know, like real old, and it lives on a junk planet collecting junk for uh, my little 28 mil guy that keeps popping all the time. And it thinks it's picking up really useful junk, brings it over and it's completely useless because its brain's fried and it's old and stupid, like me. So I said it last episode and I'm going to say it again, I'm probably going to make a, a small just a tip video about these weathering powders out of chalk pastels. I'm sure everyone knows how to make them, but it's just, you know, just in case you don't. Because they really make a difference. I mean, look at that. Here it is. This is the um, my spray bottle build. It is a robot that collects trash, and it has uh, armature arms that you can bend to any position you want. Close the fingers, and I've made little bits of junk that can go in his bins. It's like an action figure that kids can never touch because it's too fragile. They can just look at it and dribble. You know that's what kids do. But there you go. I hope you you enjoyed this build. Again, go see Gert's video after, or if you've already seen it, thank you for coming over here. And uh, yeah, keep your spray bottles. Always keep your spray bottles. Cue glamour shots. So there he is, there's the trashy robot. Well, he's not really trashy, he's just made from trash, but uh, completely out of spray bottles. Now, if you haven't already, go see Gert's video at Dark Matter Workshop, link is in description. And please, in the comments, vote on your favourite. I'd be really interested to see. Bye!